That's the greatest sound in the world. I have to say, now that we beat the game, we can go into details and such. Oh man. That was that was a, a solid 40 hours. That was really good. I I enjoyed that very, very much. Um, like I was saying before, you know, it's not that hard to get into, just like the original, you know. Um there was there was uh it was pretty basic in terms of like gameplay. Just like the original, in my opinion. Um, the original had a lot more secret stuff that you could figure out and, and do with the materia. Um, you probably can figure out some more stuff in this one as well. I loved how they added new materia. And like, because... Alright, so in Midgar, in the original game, you really didn't get all that much different stuff throughout the entire, what, couple hours? However many hours the original took, like 10 hours or so. This game didn't even feel like it was, it, it was like 40 hours. It, I felt like I was still playing the old game. You know, it felt like it breezed by. And the story was just as good. If not, and, and better, because they added so much to it. A lot of more character development, and you actually cared about, like, Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. <laughs> I think it's really cool, like, uh, world building. And like you were saying, that they wanted to do more that, uh, in this game that they couldn't do back then. <clears throat> and it definitely shows. Story-wise, I, I give it, I give it, like, a, a 9 out of 10. Definitely. Because it stuck pretty much... It stuck pretty much to the story, and nothing that they changed about it really like made much of a difference until the very end story wise i i'd say it's a it's definite nine out of ten you know uh, i saw online a lot of people were complaining about the ending and i can understand why where they're coming from i don't think it's deserves like the hate that i was seeing they're just like oh this is the worst i'm like mm. I don't think so. Now that I've played it, I can tell you 100% it is not the worst possible scenario that they could have come up with. It was really good. My personal thoughts on the ending, spoilers for anybody watching, <laughs> if you haven't played it yet, they, they, they should not have gone like that alternate timeline route. I, I personally think uh, instead of doing that, so basically, before before we get into that, so those those Dementor things, the whispers, they're basically like the developers and the they're like a personification of the developers and the fans trying desperately to keep the story the way it is from the old game. They don't want anything changed. They want it just the way it is, and. Honestly, I, I mean, I don't blame them. <laughs> you know, I want, I would like, in my opinion, I would like the the story to stay the same. Minor changes, like they did through this game until the very end, um, I would like it kept about that way. And I know that the world is pretty big for the next installment of this, and I personally would not mind like a linear game of it, because I mean. In all honesty, the old game uh, was pretty linear, aside from like going back to places to get weapons and such. They basically tell you, oh, well, Sephiroth went to Mount Coral or whatever. All right, well, I guess we're going to Mount Coral. <laughs> so, like, uh, I wouldn't mind if the next installment was just as linear as this one. I think what they should have done at the end when all those whispers were flying all over the place they instead of that big giant boss battle that they came up with they should have cleared that out completely don't don't go into any alternate timeline nonsense they should have had Sephiroth come in like have 
have all the have the, all the things like swirling around him, like oh shit, what what are we gonna do now? And then Sephiroth just whoosh with his sword, and like they all just disappear. And like since those those whispers personify like the developers and the fans, pretty much saying that they want everything to stay the same. Sephiroth could be coming in and saying, "Look, this is not how it's going to to be." And then you could have the boss fight with Sephiroth. And once you beat him, you could still have that same type of ending that they gave us. Where, like, it's just him and Cloud fighting. And, Cl and then Sephiroth is just like, you're not done here yet. And then he basically should, he should have, like, sent him back to where they were before that all happened. And then just, like, have, have like, Cloud, like, holding his head, like, holy shit, what just happened? And then have them, like, looking out into the distance, saying, like, all right, we got to go catch Sephiroth. He's still around there. That's my personal preference on how the ending should have went. Um, the way they went with it, like you said, they uh, it was definitely by the book Square Enix. They needed their giant monster epic battle in there somewhere, and they gave it to us. It was really well done. It was really cool. And I, I definitely enjoyed it. It's just, I, it's not how I would have, it's not how I was thinking it should have ended. So now, with the with that ending, we they they did say that they're gonna return. So we know that they're gonna work on the game some more. They are working on the game some more, and uh, yeah. But what's gonna happen now? That was such like a a weird cliffhanger that they they left us on. So, I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see. Maybe maybe we'll get some type of announcement later on at E th at well, there is there isn't gonna be an E3 this year, but but maybe they'll put out like a a Square Enix thing about it. And maybe they'll give us some information on the second part. Is it gonna be a full game? Is it just gonna be downloadable? gonna be on PS5 so my likes and dislikes my my likes were the game was fantastic it was so fun to play I did not want to stop like at all I was streaming this and like I didn't want to go to bed I wanted to play it lots and lots <laughs> but uh yeah we we actually we finished it in seven streams seven streams we finished it <laughs> it was just a fun game all around man like, look at this. It looks so damn good. Everything looked good. Except, except, here's, here's, here's some of the cons. A lot of the textures were very low, and uh, some of them didn't even pop in to where they were supposed to be. And a lot of, a lot of textures, eh, look kind of, look kind of bleh. <laughs> um... That and a lot of the, the hidden loading times, you know, when you're like crawling basically through like rubble and stuff, like they, you can see how they cut corners pretty easily because they basically hid a lot of stuff around, like behind tall rocks and tall buildings and such, but like they did do a good job in hiding it. It's just, there was always constantly like, all right. He's slowly going through here, and then sometimes you'd be running, and then he'd just stop and start walking. And it's like, come on, Cloud, move! <laughs> but those were really my only cons to the the thing. That everything else, it was it was it had fantastic voice acting. It had great animation. I didn't really see anything mess up. Um, all the characters looked good. There wasn't any real change that I didn't like. Everything just made sense. It works for me. It, it stayed close enough to the original story and gave us something new. And that's what everybody wanted. Or exact, that's what they wanted us to want. And that's what I wanted. So, there was, I, there's a lot of people that just wanted this to be like a one-to-one -one from the original and like as cool as that would be 
I, I don't think it would be as fun as what we got. I'm definitely down to uh, check it out on PS5. I'll be getting that day one, and this will probably be my test game. <laughs> Gotta see how it stand, how it holds up. And shit, man, we might just do like a like a, a classic mode run just before the second part comes out, depending on when it's coming out. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think that are watching. Let me know if uh, beat the game. Do you like it? What's your favorite part? What's your least favorite part? What do you think of that ending? Um, yeah.